Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video, well, it's part three of the Mac Triple Boot. So you can boot Snow Leopard, Windows 7, and Ubuntu on your Mac. So this third part is going to tell you how to install Ubuntu. So this part is going to work very similarly to how you installed Windows. Um, so to actually get Ubuntu, you just go to Ubuntu, the, uh, the main website for it, and then download the ISO image of your choice. Now the latest version is 9.10 Karmic Koala and they have both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of it. Uh, in short, if your computer has more than 4 gigs of RAM, get the 64-bit version. If it has 3 or less, just get the one that doesn't say 64 next to it. So once you have the ISO downloaded, you need to open up Disk Utility and click on Burn. And then you should get a dialog box that lets you choose uh, an image to burn to a normal CDR. Uh, so just go and find the ISO file, put in your blank CD, and let it burn. And then you take your Ubuntu CD and put it into the drive. Then you wait for it to show up. Okay, now we have Windows as a CD here. So we're just going to push enter and then it's going to go into the Ubuntu boot menu. Okay, so here we are at the boot menu for the for Ubuntu and we're just going to choose English. And then we're going to go to install Ubuntu. Now it could take anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes to go into the actual installer. So just sit back and relax. Okay, so here we are at the installer for Ubuntu, and it's going. the installation process is somewhat similar to that of Windows that you did in the previous video. Um, it's still loading everything, so we'll just wait a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to choose our language again, English, and go to Forward. And then we're going to choose our time zone. And then click on forward. And then and then step three, you could just click on forward. And then it's going to load up the partitioner. Now you already have one for Snow Leopard and Windows 7. But once you see the next screen, you may get a little bit confused because there's some extra ones in there as well. Okay, so here we are at step four. Now just click on the bubble that, spe that says specify partitions manually. Click on that and then go to forward. Okay, so if you have any external drives connected to your computer, ignore SDC or SDB. Just focus on SDA under device. So the first one is some free, is a free space, ignore that. The second one is for the EFI, ignore that too. And then SDA2 should be your OS 10 drive, or a partition. And then the next one should be where you're going to install Linux to. And then SDA4 should be your NTFS Windows partition. So click on your SDA3 for your Linux one, if that's what you chose and then go to change leave this space alone under use as choose ext4 journaling check format and then for the mount point choose the slash and then click on ok and then click on forward If you get anything uh, like a, a pop-up regarding swap space, just click on continue. And then here just enter in your username information.
and then click on forward. Now right now it should be looking towards your looking at your other operating systems to see if there's anything that it can import. As you can see here it found my Windows partition and it and it has the ability to import wallpapers, documents, music and things like that. If you don't need that just click on forward. And then for the last screen which is step 8 make sure you click on the advanced button. Make sure install bootloader is checked and then in the drop down choose SDA 3 which is where you're going to install Ubuntu to. And then click on OK. Now that you're ready to install, click on the install button. The installation process will take anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, so just be patient. And be near, be, be near your computer because it may need to restart. Okay, when it's finished installing, go ahead and turn on your computer and make sure it goes to the refit boot menu. Yours will look something like this, depending on, you know, what you have. And in the next video, the final video, I'm going to show you how to make your refit menu look just like this. So now that you have Linux installed, go ahead and choose the Linux partition. And it should take you to the Grub bootloader. And then just choose the first entry. Yours will just have everything from 2631.14 generic on down. Now I already have my Linux installation totally complete. And it updated a couple times, which is why I have some extra kernels. Here we are at the login screen, and all you have to do is push enter, and then type in your password. Now, my Linux install is already 100% working, which is why I have audio and Wi-Fi. So, uh, to actually get all the pieces of the hardware working, such as audio, Wi-Fi, and proper video acceleration. Wi-Fi doesn't work out of the box on my MacBook Pro, so what you need to do is just plug your computer in through Ethernet, and then from there you can go to the one of the websites that you see in the description for this video. And just follow all of the instructions that you see on the page that pertains to your particular model. So I have a MacBook Pro. And the actual model identifier is 5.3. And then this page right here has all the instructions to get every piece of hardware working properly in Ubuntu. So I'll put the links to the proper pages in the description here. And that's pretty much it. And then once you get your proper video working right, you could have all the cool effects like comp is, all those sorts of things. The, uh, the little cube here. Things like that. So that's pretty much it with this video and you just installed Linux onto your MacBook Pro or some other Mac and you should now be triple booting. Uh, so uh, congratulations on that and if you're having any co problems with anything just leave a comment in this video and I'll try my best to answer it without actually being in front of your computer. And that's about it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get everything working right and a couple extra little things. Uh, so that's it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.